<laughs> wait, wait, please don't applaud. I don't, I don't deserve it. I'm ashamed. I was practicing before I came out to do, do my introduction to the show tonight, and I cussed too much. And the censor at CBS said I cussed too much, and I have to do it again. <laughs> Thanks for saying, oh, you patronising bastard. <laughs> but I feel so ashamed. I feel so ashamed that I have not cussed enough. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only saying that to annoy the censor who gets very upset every time I'm on the show. Because apparently it, you're not allowed to plan cussing, but every time they see me on the screen, they kind of suspect some might be coming. <laughs> <laughs> apparently me trying to get round the censorship laws by being cute and adorable has been sensed by the censor who seems to have twigged on my ploy. <laughs> by the way, twigged on my ploy is a type of sex act performed by rabbits. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, to anyone watching tonight who's expecting me to cuss, <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> now, hello, everyone. A lot of people think, please say good evening to Helen. Say hello, Helen. Hi, Helen. No. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. <laughs> now, it's Chinese New Year coming up and... <coughs> excuse me. And it, it's the year of the rabbit. Now, Helen, are you from China? No, I'm from Taiwan. Taiwan! <laughs> do, people, do people think that Taiwan and China have similar years? Yes, we celebrate Taiwanese New Year, which is the same as Chinese New Year. Oh. How terribly informative. <laughs> now, is it also a rabbit year in Taiwan? Yes. Oh. <laughs> now that's what we call in America <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> That's not a coincidence, is it? Because a coincidence is a chance event that was unlikely to happen. But this is an event that happens exactly as it always does every year. Am I right, Helen? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> now, may I ask who also, Helen, is that a Taiwanese name, Helen? Yes. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Are you <laughs> with me? Your, is it really a Taiwanese name, Helen? Uh, no, it's an American name. <laughs> so what you're telling me then is that Helen of Troy was a American. <laughs> no. I don't know much about your big city ways, but I'll tell you this. I think the name Helen is in fact a Greek. I, yes, it's a Greek name. Is it really? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> are you, do you live in America now or are you visiting from Taiwan? I live in America now. Oh, that's nice. Which part? San Diego. <laughs> do you know it's still legal to have sex with a rabbit in San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. It just things seem to have taken a very odd turn. <laughs> anyway, look. Uh, how do you say Happy New Year in Taiwanese? 新年快乐. But that's Chinese. <laughs> Established that. Are you? Do you know? Even know anyone in Taiwan? Yes, I was born there. Oh, 
Oh, well, there you are. You don't remember what I was saying? I mean, you're yelling. Is it a different language? Yes, Taiwanese is different from Chinese. Oh, are you, are you a bit nervous because you're talking to a rabbit on television? <laughs> You're telling me that's still legal to have sex no, with no, rabbits. No, no, I'm just... <laughs> let it go, let it go! It was a joke! It's not true! Oh, good. It is true. <laughs> anyway, happy new year, Helen, and I wish happy you all the best for the new year. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Thanks very much, everybody. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to a friend of mine. His name is Rex. <laughs> Say hello to everyone, Rex. <laughs> Say hello, because apparently someone in this room is very bad with their left hand. <laughs> and also, Rex is drunk. <laughs> All right, now. See, what happened was that just before the show started, many members of the studio audience were voicing their opinion on who would be the most popular puppet for people to see. And then they said, oh, we want Sid, the white rabbit from North London. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, I'm not a puppy. <laughs> right? Here's, now, here's, shut up, shut the up. about me. Sure, I may be in some way operated by, you know, means nefarious, but I will tell you this. If you think I'm a puppet, just go to say, ooh, CBS cares and all that <laughs> You're wrong. I am not a corporate whore. <laughs> I remain true to the spirit of punk rock, and here's how I prove it. I just took a <laughs> now, admittedly, it was adorable. It looked a bit like a raisin, but... <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Anyway, that's a bit weird, but it's a bit, the puppet started talking to me, who's operating the puppet. That was all a bit strange. Anyway, the upshot is, I just want you to know, rest assured, everything's going to be fine tonight. The show's going to be just the usual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Now, a lot of people say to me, Oh, a talking rabbit! <laughs> but a lot of other people say, Craig, I mean, Sid! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say to me, Sid, you're a bit... You, you... You profile people due to their clothing, don't you? That's your theory. And I'm like, yes. For example, using my clothing method of profiling, I would guess that the gentleman standing behind me is Canadian. Would I be correct in saying you're Canadian? That's right, eh? <laughs> Is that a Canadian sweater? I think so. Right. Now, what part of Canada are you from? From Toronto. Toronto, eh? The only town in Canada with an unseemly excess of civic pride. <laughs> yes? Is that true? Yes, other, it is. Other Canadians think you people are jumped up smug bastards, don't they? <laughs> around with your fancy sweaters, <laughs> wearing your sunglasses and your neck. <laughs> I mean, what the f 
is that? Anyway, <laughs> what, what's the deal? Why are you in Los Angeles? I came to watch the show and Bill Shatner. Bill Shatner, also Canadian. Right. I wonder if he'll be wearing a similar piece of knitwear. <laughs> I suspect not, because he's been away for a long time. He's gone Hollywood. Uh. He wears cotton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, what's your name, sir? Glenn. Glenn. And uh, what's your second name? Bryson. Breast? Bryson. <laughs> no, I know you said Bryson. I just like saying breast. <laughs> Sometimes I like to just say breast in a sort of questiony way oh. and just see what happens. So if you sometimes try this the next time you're in, in a room with ladies, Glenn, you can say to <laughs> just go breast and, <laughs> and then I'll go, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Anyway, um, Glenn, you're going to be hosting the show this evening. Right. <laughs> And I'll be the sidekick. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that'll never <laughs> happen. Come on, buddy, everybody. Thanks, man. Stop looking at my ass! <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home. I'm Annie Gilroy. Oh, Annie Gilroy. <laughs> now, Annie Gilroy, I noticed when I came out tonight that you were sitting in a lesbian row. <laughs> so will my mom. <laughs> what, Sorry, what? Mom. <laughs> what? Did you just say hi, Mom? <laughs> that I'm in lesbian row. Oh, I, oh, well, that's why it was my next question, was, oh. are you an actual lesbian? Or did you just pretend to be one to get a good seat? To get a good seat? Yeah, see, this is, this is happening a lot now. A lot of people are coming here pretending to be lesbians just to get a good seat. Well, look, <laughs> knock it off. Seating. We put aside special seating for genuine lesbians. <laughs> Not some any come lately. <laughs> By the way, any come lately is the name of a movie. In it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what do you do? What's your what's your business? State like, your business. I like art. I'm an artist. Oh, I paint. That's lovely. What kind of do you paint? I paint. Oh, Nice. I paint faces. You paint faces? Yeah. What? Yeah, at Renaissance fairs? <laughs> no, on canvas. Oh, on canvas. Not on the actual face, then. <laughs> not on the... I feel such a <laughs> fool. <laughs> anyway, Annie, I want you to spread the word amongst the uh, heterosexual community that lesbian row seats are for genuine lesbians only. Fair enough. And uh, this goes the same for gay men. Gay men, you get special seating here, right down to the front. <laughs> the last, I don't want men coming here pretending to be gay just so they can get a good seat. <laughs> which I suspect would happen less. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Did I just hear one person? What? One person? What? The, the weird thing is, it was. Did you hear that? It was one I person who clapped once. Over there. <laughs> Something's gone wrong with the television. <laughs> Whereas when they see you and me, they realise that things are normal. It is. It is. Anyway, uh, how you doing? All right. I'm doing great. And yourself? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, good. Yeah, you look great. Right. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm just talking right now, all right? <laughs> yeah. Just, I'll get to you. Okay. <laughs> This is, uh, this is Bradley who works on the show, and I work on the show too, and a lot of people think that, uh, you know, this is what happens when you go 
asleep in the We Come Alive. <laughs> and that's true, isn't it, mate? It is. It, yeah. yeah. We're alive. And the thing is, when you're awake, we are also alive. <laughs> which means we are <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> Right. Do you know, I have to tell you, your hat looks a bit penisy. <laughs> I've been told that. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Is that, does it take long to get that stuff off? I'm not hitting on you, I'm just interested. <laughs> takes, you know, it takes as long as it takes. Well, haven't we got ourselves a silver philosopher? <laughs> it takes as long as it takes. Did you make that up yourself or did you read it on a <laughs> bumper sticker? <laughs> I read it on a bumper sticker. All right. Anyway, this is Bradley. I'm Sid, and uh, we'd like to announce our new sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. We are replacing Two and a Half Men <laughs> with um, a robot and a rabbit. It's called A Robot and a Rabbit, <laughs> and it's about me and uh, you know and Bradley. Uh, we share an apartment, and I'm neat, and he's you know he's a, he's a bit of a slob, and we drive each other crazy. <laughs> Well, well, what, I think it'd be, well, do you think you should be the neat one and I should be, well, hang on, let me, yeah, let's well, play. you know, <laughs> what? as long as the paychecks are the same. <laughs> you, know what? you know what, man, you've turned into a <laughs> hack. Uh, you yeah. used, it used to be about the art for you, man. <laughs> now you stand there with your silver vibrating penis hat on. <laughs> now you, you were like me. You can have the star roll, well, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> all right, all right, we're going to change it Drinking to animals. a rabbit and a drunk robot with a penis out. <laughs> Join us later when things will get weird. <laughs> Hello, everyone! <laughs> Hi. Oh, that's right, don't applaud then, you <laughs> bastards! <laughs> I'm very excited because this weekend is Oscar weekend. It's a very exciting time in Hollywood. You can see Hollywood out there. <laughs> and my burrow is out there somewhere. Yeah, I'll keep a little hole in the ground here, you know, and a bigger <laughs> hole in the ground out somewhere else. Anyway, look, um, people say to me, wait a minute, you're a rabbit. You don't enjoy movies. Wrong. I love going to the cinema, especially when I th raising it. Raisinets, but I do like enjoying playing rabbit based practical jokes on other people who are. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly, yes. <clears throat> so yeah, the thing is, a lot of people say, well, you're a rabbit, you don't watch films, that's wrong, I love films. My Oscar pick for this year is Watership Down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tragic story of rabbits. <laughs> Ooh, actually, it's a terrible film. <laughs> well, it's a good film if you like enigmatic allegory, but who the <laughs> knows what that is? <laughs> I mean, if you're literal minded like me and many other <laughs> idiots, you think that, ra that it, Warship Down is about rabbits getting killed, which, of course, on the surface it is, but underneath it's about things that I don't understand. Because <laughs> when the first rabbit gets in the neck, I'm like, oh, this, no. <laughs> anyway, if Hollywood can make a film where rabbits get killed, why can't they make a film where rabbits sing? <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to your letters that tell me about films that rabbits sing in. You <laughs> smug idiots. <laughs> say to me, Sid, you're not funny anymore, you're just abusing the people who watch you. And I'm like, yeah, that's edgy. <laughs> and, and now 
got to pace up and down the stage as well. A lot of people say to me, Sid, why are you always on one camera? That's not true, look at this. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Yeah! <laughs> A lot of people say to me, uh, are you drunk? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not drunk, you f***ing idiot. I'm a rabbit. <coughs> I do like to spend a lot of time with my friend Jeffrey Peterson, who's a skeleton robot. But a lot of people say you shouldn't hang out with skeleton robots because it'll make you evil. <laughs> and I think that's <laughs> So, good night, everybody. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> me, that rabbit. That rabbit is doing the beginning of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> Are we going to have a Rocky Horror Picture Show of the late, late bollocks? <laughs> no, we are <laughs> not. <laughs> but we are going on a strange journey. I'll tell you why. Because rumour has it that this is the worst audience ever. <laughs> themselves. <laughs> I had to come out tonight. Ferguson won't even come out. He's afraid. <laughs> he's, he's backstage crying. <laughs> crying like, ooh, boo, ooh, cheeky monkeys, ooh, 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 oh, I wish I was back in Scotland. Well, at least it just be <laughs> crap out of me. <laughs> And when things are difficult around here, that's when they call me in. And do you know why they call me in? Cause I'm bad. I'm a bad And do you know what else? I'm also part robot. I will control. show you in a few months. I love your pink little furry something much bigger than raisins. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got to be a classy show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very nice for you here. Uh, can I touch your moustache? Please. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> no, 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 I meant that one. Can I touch it? 
Ooh, it feels like a lady rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> I love rabbits. They you taste, eat rabbits, don't you? They taste like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I said that I meant kiss me. Okay. <laughs> that is the first interspecies puppet gay kiss. <laughs> Take that, groundbreaking other TV shows. Join us, why don't you, after the break when. <clears throat> There'll be less puppets. You got, what? You got hair in your mouth, I yeah, guess. No. Right wait, wait. Hello, everyone. You're probably thinking, why are they using white rabbit so much? Well, I'll tell you why, because apparently the lighting is extra bad tonight. <laughs> so the only things that will be seen are me and perhaps Ferguson's testicles. <laughs> which are also very, very bright. <laughs> because he was raised in a cold country where they keep their testicles hidden. <laughs> Not like warm countries where you can have your testicles out as much as you like. <laughs> Rabbits have got uh, furry testicles. <laughs> <laughs> of course they have. I've got furry testicles. I'm a <laughs> rabbit, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, the reason I wanted to talk to you because last night Trace Atkins was on the show. <laughs> and he touched Shut up. And he touched me. <laughs> me inappropriately <laughs> and people have been emailing and uh, tweeting birding me always saying you all right Sid you all right and the answer is yes <laughs> the only problem is I can't stop thinking about him <laughs> he's got a lovely big hat and his deep voice is like honga donk ba donk ba donk <laughs> thing was that when I got up this morning I was thinking about Trace Atkins and suddenly I looked in the mirror and I went <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? That's weird. I just every time I think about him I go <laughs> And then <laughs> Do you know that special effect costs more money than most of this show <laughs> But to be honest, and I think you should be, it's far more entertaining, isn't it, everyone? <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with the worst lit show on television! In summer of 1976, Britain was in a terrible state. I was a young rabbit and music was <laughs> awful. <laughs> yeah, I was alive then. I'm the oldest rabbit in the world. <laughs> That's why my fur is white. <laughs> Anyway, it, back then, it, there was, the music was awful. It was all, like, um, music that I didn't like, like... <laughs> dee, 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 Do you remember that? That was a big hit. Anyway, well, it was a big hit that we won't have to pay any money for singing. <laughs> anyway, all the music was... Doodly, dee, and then what happened is that there was these bands started to appear all around the country. Sex Pistols, The Damned, and there was a band in Ireland called the Boomtown Rats. And they were <laughs> but, but they got better. And then started 
it to get really, really good. <laughs> and then go again. <laughs> and then go better again. And then go really good. And I went to see them in Glasgow in 1977. Which is odd because I, I'm clearly not from Glasgow. <laughs> but I travelled there by burrow. <laughs> Anyway, the upshot is, if it wasn't for punk rock, none of the <laughs> would be going on here right now. <laughs> and you would still have crazy <laughs> Kilborn. <laughs> what, did somebody come on? <laughs> Was that for me? <laughs> Patronising <laughs> Now you're probably thinking, Sid, you've put on weight, haven't you? And I will admit, I put on about 15 kilos, <laughs> which is about four pounds. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, I put on a bit of weight because I was in Las Vegas and I ate a lot of sausages. <laughs> hey! <clears throat> yeah, I had a lot, a lot of sausages, or, or as they're known in America, wieners. <laughs> I really enjoyed them. They were very tasty. Anyway, I'm here tonight and I feel quite judged by the studio audience who not only do they cheer because I'm fat, <laughs> but also there's a woman in the front row who hates me. <laughs> yeah! No, I just, my eye was drawn to her when I came out. Also, she, not only does she hate me, I, I can use my rabbit powers of hearing people mumbling about me. Because I've got giant ears. So when I hear people going, oh, I hate that rabbit. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it. And my feelings are hurt. And then I turn to comfort eating. <laughs> The upshot is I've got to go on a diet now and eat nothing but carrots. <laughs> it's all right, I quite enjoy them, really. I, I know I'm probably, you know, putting forward, a, you know, propagating a stereotype that rabbits really only eat carrots, but we <laughs> do. <laughs> so, not only are you getting free entertainment, you <laughs> learned something. <laughs> yeah. so, You don't get that Discovery Channel, do you? <laughs> Take that, Shark Week. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. <laughs> There's a girl behind me looking at my ass. <laughs> and it's making me embarrassed. <laughs> because I feel a bit fat. <laughs> Hello, girl behind me, look at my ass. Hi, Sid. What's your name? Gina. Gina? Is that short for uh, anything? <laughs> Shut the f <laughs> <laughs> is, is I it? not. What's it short for? Nothing. Oh. It's nothing. So you've just got, that's your name then, Gina. Where are you from? Seattle. Oh, city of... The North! <laughs> the Emerald City. The Emerald City, Ooh, really? City. Is that why you're wearing a green stripy top? Maybe. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, that, the, you know the stripes seem to vary in thickness in your top. <laughs> For example... I, I think I the, planned it that way, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it seems... The optical illusion is that... <laughs> By any chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you thought I was.
was too stupid to notice that. <laughs> but I noticed because I look at women's breast areas. <laughs> That's right, put me in prison for that, why don't you? <laughs> now, what are you doing in Los Angeles? <laughs> Came here just to see you. Oh. 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 Hey, hey, shut Don't stop it! Stop it, you <laughs> bastard! Stop it! <laughs> if you believe that, <laughs> I've got a robot skeleton I can show you. That's right, you heard me, you bastard. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you came here just to see this show? I did. Well, yes. I, I hope you'll not be disappointed then. <laughs> but you will be. <laughs> However, think of this show as the television equivalent of a shirt that changes the stripes across. <laughs> To make it look like it's bigger than it is. <laughs> In honour of Star Wars Day, may the fourth be with you. And I am your father. <laughs> applaud because you don't know if it's any good yet, do you? <laughs> and if, if you applaud without anything happening, then the people at home will think you're paying <laughs> lackeys, won't they? <laughs> Which of course they are. <laughs> Except you. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica, that's a lovely name. Thank you. Do you solve mysteries? I have solved some in the past. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, what, Atlanta, is that in America? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm a waitress. A rabbit killer, you say? <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you kill rabbits? <laughs> They're soft and cuddly. So, soft and cuddly gets you killed then, does it? <laughs> Waitressing you do, apart from killing rabbit waitressing. <laughs> uh, it's just a small hometown restaurant. I see. Yeah. Hooters. <laughs> Is it Hooters? <laughs> all right, all right, that's fair. You can applaud now. <laughs> that's enough. Now, in this small town restaurant in which you work, in Atlanta, if it really exists. <laughs> well, wasn't Atlanta the place that was under the ocean that people used to live years and years ago? People act like it. <laughs> this does not reflect the views of me, Craig Ferguson, or any of the CBS employees. If you have any complaints, send your complaints to Jessica at Rabbit Killer Restaurant <laughs> in Atlanta. What's the name of your restaurant? Plates on the square. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Plates on the square? Yep. Is it on the square, then? It is on the square. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> Why are you in California? Well, I'm here with my brother. He just got back from Afghanistan. And oh, we're gonna is travel. he in SEAL Team 6? No. Of course he isn't. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So your brother's in the service, then? He is. Well, what are you doing here, then? Are you, um, what are you doing? Well, we... Why are you in California? Because <laughs> I met him in Hawaii and we flew here and we're going to drive back to Georgia. What? That's a long way. It is a long way. Almost way. as long as this overtimed segment. <laughs> How you got, what kind of car are you going to drive in? Well, it's going to be either a motorcycle half of the way and a rental car. 
<laughs> this bitch just stole my heart. seem to be getting all of a sudden. I've been eating too many craisins. Here, you know what's happening tonight is that uh, Ferguson hasn't turned up yet. He's still probably uh, doing some of that weird <laughs> he does in his basement. <laughs> oh no, wait. This show is the weird <laughs> that he does in the basement. <laughs> he will do something else. Oh, wait, I can run things uh, pretty well without him. <laughs> so, uh, how's it with you, Jeff Peterson? Uh oh. What are you? What do you mean? Uh oh. What the f is? What do you mean? What? What the? What do you mean by uh oh? Hey, bite me, Bunny. <laughs> by the way, bite me, Bunny is the name of a film that I. Scottish bloke does it, it looks a lot easier. <laughs> so, uh, did you do anything interesting at the weekend, even although it's Friday today? Just been standing here the whole week. Is that it? Then that's all you do, just stand here and answer questions. Incidentally, I'd like to see that film you mentioned earlier. What, bite me, bunny? Yeah. Do you find me attractive? Kind of. That's nice. I like your eyes. I like your ears. You're making me question myself. Hey, you want to go somewhere and get weird with craisins? <laughs> um, all right, but let me just throw to a commercial break. Here's a commercials. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Please. <clears throat> all right. Please keep it down, will you? I can't think when you start that. That's right, you heard me right, a rabbit can cuss. <laughs> Just because Ferguson is on the no cuss kick, doesn't mean I'm on a <laughs> no cuss kick. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, I ate some <laughs> lettuce before the show. <laughs> anyway, you probably say to yourself, oh, I'm up too late, I'm watching this crap again. <laughs> But the good news is I've just returned from New York where I saw the CBS schedule for next year. The sit well, next season, you know, the, the, all the new shows that are coming to CBS. <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. They've got, you know, people getting murdered. <laughs> and they've got uh, they replaced, of course, this is old news now, but they replaced um, Charlie Sheen with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Do you know what Ashton Kutcher means in rabbit language? It means achoo. 
Whenever you say Ashton Kutcher, other rabbits say, bless you. <laughs> You got a problem with that. <laughs> anyway, look, here's the thing. There's, we, I saw the trailer for this new CBS comedy, which actually looks good. I know. Uh, <laughs> it's about uh, two girls that work in a, in a restaurant and they've got no money, but one of them has a fantastic set of abilities. <laughs> and by abilities, I, of course, mean <laughs> Sorry, everyone, I embarrassed myself there. Now, people often say to me, Sid, you're a rabbit. How could you be sexually attracted to a human being? And I'm like, hey, you know, don't judge me, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, the thing is, um, I think you should probably... Uh, CBS, if you're watching, which, of course, they are not. <laughs> But if you're watching, you should probably book that girl and be on this show, because she was really funny in them trailers. <laughs> and by trailers, I mean <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, I've probably said enough. <laughs> Make me use my lower register. <laughs> you made me go, oi, like that. <laughs> and although cussing is lovely when it's up here, like <laughs> <laughs> when you sit down low, it's threatening, like <laughs> you see. Look, I don't have time to talk to you because I have the one remaining seat to go and watch the finale of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Which I have to say, looks a little bit rabbit-free this year. It's one of the things that really annoys me. <laughs> is that many shows and television don't feature animals. For example, Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> I think that would be a vastly improved show if it were to include a rabbit. <laughs> ooh, ah, oh, just a little bit, ooh, ah. Oh. oh, yeah, I could do it. Watch this. Hum da da dum da da dum macarena. Hum da da dum da da dum macarena. Hum da da dum da da dum macarena. <laughs> macarena. Oh, yeah. I love dancing, me. Dancing is how rabbits communicate in a way because when uh, this is a true rabbit fact <laughs> When rabbits sense danger, they thump their feet on the ground. I learned that from <laughs> Bambi <laughs> What's interesting and in, in Bambi in that film Bambi the little rabbit was called Thumper Which weirdly and coincidentally enough is Scottish slang for an erection <laughs> You know, I was a kid and somebody said, Who do you want to see Thumper? I was like, I'm calling Child Protective Services. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm just saying I'd quite like to be known for something more than my wit. <laughs> I'd like to be known as a dancer. And one day I shall go to the ball and I'll <laughs> win. <laughs> That's my dramatic ending. If you, oh, will you watch a film and then, oh, at the end. <laughs> Don't go, oh, I'm doing my dramatic ending. All right, ready? It will be the end. No, 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 stop it. What the f is wrong with you? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, listen, I've got some. I'm um, a little bit upset tonight, so it's a possibility that I might cuss. <laughs> well, see if something's happened. The night we're doing that new 
show with um, Simon Cowell's new show. What's it called? Uh, X Factor? Yeah. Well, they had an English judge and her name was Cheryl. And they, they were going to have her be a judge. And, and then they said, oh, you can't be a judge because no one can understand your accent. Because she was English. And I'm like, what the f***? Because, I mean, I, this is how I make my carrots on this show. Is talking, make myself. But of course, I've lived in America for a very long time. And my accent has become very American. It has. But I'm very upset because now... now English people are being discriminated. <laughs> discriminated. <laughs> Look, it's not right, is what I'm saying. Anyway, here's the thing. Guess who's on this show tomorrow night? David Beckham. <laughs> yeah, and I'm already thinking, what a bit of night when he's here. <laughs> but will the American audience understand? Him. Do you understand me? I said, do you understand me? Well, anyway, I don't understand how Simon Cowell can sack someone for being English. I mean, I don't wish to appear presumptuous, but isn't he you want to sack anyone for being incomprehensible? What about Paula? <laughs> yeah, what, what's going on here is you've got a little... There's a scratch and a bump, but I think I can fix it. Oh, uh, OK. All right, yeah. Now, that's, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, just pull what? that wire there. <laughs> going on. I was just repairing Jeff's podium. <laughs> Apparently it was leaning to the left. <laughs> and I, I, had to, I had to give it a shunt. <laughs> I had to shunt his podium <laughs> in, in order to... <laughs> Make sure it was aligned properly for the beginning of the broadcast. <laughs> right, Jeff? Oh, sorry. Right, Jeff? That's right. Yeah. So, anyway, um, if you're just joining us and you've never seen this show before, you're probably thinking, what the f is going on? <laughs> well, it's perfectly simple. I am a rabbit from North London who likes to swear it sounds a bit like David Beckham. Ah! Although I wasn't on the show last, last night because David Beckham was on and I was a bit frightened to be here at the same time as David Beckham was on in case he judged me. You went, oh sorry, you went a bit quiet. You went a bit quiet when David Beckham was here. Oh, I think you liked him. Oh yeah, he smelled good. <laughs> What do you smell like then? Sucker balls. <laughs> hey, see, now look what's happened. Your podium's gone all misaligned again. Look. I'm going to have to give it another shunt. <laughs> yeah, would you, would you please? Yeah, well... Should I show another shunt in my podium? Yeah, yeah. Have to take oh, hey, there, we, there you are. We have to take a break. Tell them that we'll be right back after these messages and don't <laughs> around. We'll be right back after these messages and don't <laughs> around. That's enough, quietly now. <laughs> Let your applause die away. It like I gave a <laughs> about it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say to me, <laughs> that rabbit can talk. <laughs> and 
I say to them, you should have thought of that before you had the mescaline. <laughs> However, here's what I've come to tell you. A lot of people have been sending me emails and tweeties and um, other electronic hip things and <laughs> I say, Sid, Sid, are you going to France with the Late Late Show a Vic Craig Ferguson next week? And the answer is, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> Thanks very much for you cheering for me going out of the country for a while. <laughs> anyway, look, the thing is, I, um, a lot of people say, well, don't you have to get special, you know, shots because you're a, a creature? <laughs> is yes probably but <laughs> I'm going to sneak in to France uh, disguised as um food <laughs> cause they <laughs> eat rabbits over there aren't they <laughs> so I'll have to be careful or else I could end up on a plate with some um, fries now <laughs> They don't call them French fries over there, they just call them fries. <laughs> but the reason I am going is because I do know a place in France <laughs> where the naked ladies dance. <laughs> and if you think I won't be going there, you are out of your <laughs> mind. <laughs> Au revoir, mes amis. Sounds phony. <laughs> Do I look nervous to you, ladies and gentlemen, at home? Because I am nervous, and I'll tell you why. The audience tonight is <laughs> psycho. <laughs> <coughs> they are, they're crazy. I was just before the show, I said to this girl, Oh, that's a nice hairstyle, you look nice and tan. Have you just come back from vacation? And she said, I am on. Vacation. I was, I was like, I was just trying to be helpful. And she was like, I don't like rabbits. <laughs> they taste gamey. And I was like, whoa, that's a bit frightening. So then I decided that I would try and incorporate Jeff to help me out. Uh, but he won't. Not here, man. And then I've noticed in the monitor that my ears have gone <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what? What's that? I've, I've got coins in my ears. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Is there anyone off stage that can take these coins away? <laughs> Mysterious stranger. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm going to my head. What the? <laughs> That's weird. I think one of the psycho audience members probably put them there. <laughs> anyway, look, we're very excited here at the studio because it's 4th of July weekend. <laughs> And I'm celebrating by having my ears make a victory symbol. Being a rabbit, whenever, whenever you think you're about to 
your pants, <laughs> raisins fly out of your ass. <laughs> it's going to be a classy show tonight, everybody. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. I, I was going to uh, talk to you tonight. I'm very excited because there's a new species of shark being found. And uh, oh, somebody here can't find the shark puppet. <laughs> Sharks? Actually, I don't. I hate them. <laughs> well, the truth is, I don't have any feelings about sharks because in the wild, rabbits rarely encounter sharks. <laughs> but if I did encounter one, I'm sure there'd be a lot of raisins. <laughs> I do remember, though, that there was. Do you remember that film that, that had that shark in it? What was it called again? You know, no, not that one, not Jaws, the other one, Jaws 2. <laughs> no, there was a film where, there was a film that I saw once where sharks became intelligent and ate Samuel L. Jackson, as I recall. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, what was it called again? Have you got your little computer now? Look at that. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> now, <laughs> what is it then? Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue sea. That was it, yeah. And that was the one where the shark, they were, they were going to use the sharks to cure Alzheimer's or something. <laughs> Do you know what? I hate movies sometimes. <laughs> anyway, the sharks became intelligent and ate everyone. Which is what an intelligent shark would do. I think that's rubbish. I think if sharks became intelligent, they'd say, Ooh. Anybody got an orange or something? <laughs> I'd like to try some fruit. <laughs> and I'm worried about getting scurvy. <laughs> Being at sea so long, you know. <laughs> I wish I'd found a shark puppet. <laughs> Because this weekend I'm going to see a film about a very cute English little creature. <laughs> not Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm not going to see Harry Potter. Do you know why? Because I'm a rabbit. <laughs> no, I don't want to go and see Harry Potter because everyone's going to be there. I'm going to, I've got a plan. I'm going to wait. And if the movie stays in the theatres for more than a week, <laughs> I'll see it then. Because I am not a <laughs> idiot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. I've got to, I've got to see it. I've got to see it when it comes out. Why? <laughs> well, then, then I'll have seen it. Yes. <laughs> it's still next week, you <laughs> Anyway, here's the thing. I'm going to go and see Winnie the Pooh this weekend. Do you know why? Because it's got a very cute, attractive animal in it. And sometimes I feel I can relate. <laughs> <laughs> My only problem is that in Winnie the Pooh, none of the characters actually swear or curse. <laughs> now, if you anything about life in the forest, you would know that everyone goes <laughs> You know, I happen to know some bears, and I'm not talking about the gay subsets, but I'm talking about actual bears. And when bears go like this, what they're saying in bear language is When rabbits go, <laughs> what they mean is, <laughs> anyway, you tell that to Disney and they look at you like you're some kind of idiot. <laughs> Shut up!
off. Thank you, I appreciate the effort, but I've got very big ears, which means that my hearing is supercharged. <laughs> which means when you make ridiculous loud noises like that, it's really <laughs> annoying to me. <laughs> I don't have normal hearing. Look at the size of my <laughs> ears. <laughs> but keep it <laughs> down. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. I'm a bit upset, as you can tell. Oh, no. <laughs> you. <laughs> Do not patronise me again. <laughs> I'll come over here and I'll leave a little raisin in your lap. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so mean, but I'm a bit upset. <laughs> Rabbit to have sex with her. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be cheering like that if you was the lady rabbit. <laughs> yeah, that, that was me being uh, self deprecating there, right? Not bad, I'm getting the hang of it now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing I'm upset and I wanted to register my protest with the science fiction comic and uh, community because it doesn't seem to me that there are enough superhero rabbits. <laughs> you got all sorts of clever animals slash people and, you know, Chewbacca's and Willy Wonka's and what <laughs> but. <laughs> But you don't have any superhero rabbits. I don't know what you're thinking. Well, rabbits aren't particularly super <laughs> wrong. <laughs> They're wrong. First of all, I've got super eerie with my ears. <laughs> Ooh, someone just farted in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a double header, one of them big ones. science fiction thing I could do with my eyes. <laughs> you will worship me. <laughs> it's dangerous here for a rabbit. I tell you that. The park is full of dogs. Look behind me. Dogs walking around eating what they want. And I tell you what else is going on here. The French, right? The French eat, they eat rabbits. I know. I was like, what the? I went to this restaurant with this actress, right? We went to know she ordered escargots. And I was like, well, that's snails. And then I was like, all right, well, what's this thing here? Lapin. And they said, oh, sure, it is a rabbit. I went, are you out of your mind? It's a rabbit. You don't eat rabbits. They're lovely. They're lovely, cute little creatures that, you know, are quite sexy and attractive. The last thing you want to do is eat a rabbit. And I tell you one thing, if any of them Frenchies come near me with a knife and fork, somebody's getting stabbed. That's it. I'm in it. Look, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to believe in a united Europe. But if anyone comes near me with a sauce or any kind of paprika, I'm going to go metal. We'll be right back. <laughs> Wait, didn't you notice I was sleeping? Why if somebody came into your bedroom and you were sleeping and they went, oh, all right, oh, all right, you'd be like, what the? <laughs> Calm the down. All I haven't said that, I can already tell you're better than last night's audience. <laughs> No, no, here. Here's the thing. If you saw the show last night, there seemed to be the audience were a tiny bit hostile. <laughs> and Craig seemed to be a little upset with them. <laughs> and he goes, I'm saying he won't come out tonight. <laughs> he said he's not coming out until you all believe in fairies. <laughs> now, 
Do you all believe in fairies? I can't hear you. I I can't hear you. I look at the size of my ears. I said, do you believe in fairies? All right, you're scaring away all the fairies now. Right, he'll probably come out after a break, but I want to warn you, he's vulnerable tonight. So don't mention that odd stain on his pants. <laughs> we all know it looks a little bit like a map of Africa. <laughs> so there's no need to point it out by shouting, Oh look! He's got a map of Africa on his trousers! <laughs> CBS cares. Well, I live... I live in Silver Lake, but I'm originally from London. Mmm, fascinating. <laughs> and what sort of work do you do? Uh, well, I'm a rabbit. Hmm, and what does that entail? <laughs> is that code? Yes, it is. You are a weird <laughs> dude, man. Thank you. Yeah. So, anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. I'm afraid the show tonight is going to be the same as it usually is. <laughs> With one exception, there might be a joke. <laughs> correct, Jeff? That's correct. Jeff's vet. Jeff's got a Twitter account. What's your Twitter name, Jeff? Well, you can tweet me at Jeff the Robot. And has anyone tweeted you recently and upset you? <laughs> <laughs> he was all angry about it before the show. He was all like, "That's." <laughs> he was like, oh, oh, "I'm so angry." And his eyes went all blue, and he was like, that, "Who the <laughs> do they think they are?" <laughs> right. Yeah, that's about the short of it. Yeah. What, what, what was the tweet you got that so upset you? Well, this one gentleman sent me a tweet that said, Careful, Icarus. Well, why does that upset you then? Is that, is that your name? No, it's actually a reference to a Greek mythological story. <laughs> that. That's what I said. <laughs> that. You can't swear. You're I... not a rabbit. <laughs> Silly robot. Swears are for rabbits. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> hey, I'm just going to pop down here. Anything I can do for you on the way? I think you know what to do. <laughs> I can't go now. One of the sensors will remove the whole scene from the show. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> Hello, everyone! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, that's so nice! Thank you! Thank you, everyone! I like, I like very much the way you completely, genuinely enjoy it when a rabbit pops out. And and by pop out, I think you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, what I mean is show you my penis. <laughs> I can't show you my penis because this is CBS. And apparently, even rabbit penises are banned from... <laughs> even though, I have to say, they're adorable. <laughs> Look, here's the thing, I'm very excited. Who are you? Pray tell, why are you excited? Well, if you <laughs> shut up, I'll tell you. I'm excited because it's the start of the football season. And I love football, especially because I love watching a pig's bladder flying up and down. <laughs> flying up. It's not so much that I love football as I hate pigs. <laughs> pigs think they're so <laughs> great. <laughs> You are pigs all snuffling around and you, with your little hooves and your, and your bowler hats. Oh, that's right.
right, they take them off when humans are around, but when, when pigs are on their own, they always wear polar hats. <laughs> Bastards! And that's why, that's why the rest of the animal kingdom is like, yeah, go on, humans, enjoy your bacon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go off there. I just had a bad experience with a pig once. <coughs> I thought we were in love. <laughs> he said he was going to text me. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Wait a minute, that makes me a gay interspecies rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Anyway, it's the start of football season. I'm very excited, but... My team that I enjoy very much to watch is the Detroit Lions. Yeah, I didn't hear much going on there. <laughs> Which is an appropriate, an appropriate response to many of the seasons that the Detroit Lions are subject to. Utter <laughs> silence. <laughs> Many Detroit Lions fans just sit there in the stadium going. <laughs> While concerned relatives go, are you all right? <laughs> and no, I'm not all right. Anyway, this season, this is a season for us, the Detroit Lions. <laughs> Before you say anything. Before you say anything, or pointlessly clap. <laughs> <coughs> if you're watching at home, I think you should be aware that tonight's studio audience are idiots. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, you, you, how are you doing? All right. I've just, been, I've just noticed I can point. <laughs> how you doing over there? <laughs> Anyway, I'm very excited to announce that a booking has been made for the upcoming Thanksgiving period of shows, which is, you know, only a few months away, but you can't be too careful. <laughs> well, you can be too careful. You could wear, you know, armoured underwear. <laughs> that would be too <laughs> careful, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, in fact, you can be too careful. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about right now. What I'm talking about is this. It has been confirmed that the great Wilfred Brimley will be joining us on the show soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't applaud. He's not here yet, and he's, fa he's famously bad-tempered. <laughs> he is. If you pronounce diabetes the wrong way, he'll go <laughs> on you. I think I'll ask my friend Jeff to pronounce diabetes in the correct manner. Jeff? It's diabetes. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear it? Say it again, Jeff. It's diabetes, and if you say it wrong, I'll cut you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And that is how you get a job in <laughs> television. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. Did that rabbit just have its testicles removed? <laughs> do not, do not be alarmed, my friends at Peter. I adore you. Thank you for your support. But no, I did not have my testicles removed. These were prop testicles donated by a castrati kangaroo. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Sid, did you just mention castrati's, the famous singing eunuchs? <laughs> 
Yes, I did. What they used to do is the castrato here, but they cut off the gentleman's business so their voices would remain high. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but said your voice is high. Yes, but I still have my junk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still there. Anyway, look, here's the thing. Oh, there's no such thing, of course, as a castrati kangaroo. And I'll tell you why, because karang karangaroos... <laughs> The kangaroos, kangaroos are, are very uh, proficient boxers, <laughs> and so you try and cut off a kangaroo's testicles, it <laughs> you up. <laughs> I hope this segment of the Late Late Show has been informative and entertaining, and if it hasn't, I couldn't give. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Oh, come on, Sid, it's always you. Why, why can't we have other puppets? What about the French pig or something like that? <laughs> well, here's the reason why I'm so popular here. It's because I'm very easy to light. <laughs> sites go. <laughs> you look on them gossip sites and they say people have dated people and they haven't dated them at all. <laughs> Which is very disappointing sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, it shows the usual tonight, you know, crap, 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 <laughs> crap, 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 skeleton, crap, 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 a bit more of the skeleton, crap, crap, crap. And then at the end, you can relax and assure in certain knowledge that the evening will continue on CBS with <laughs> ShamWow information. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that warm entrance applause. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Look, I've got to tell you, I know that the audience sounded quite friendly there, but I have to tell you that we're extremely worried here about the studio audience this evening. <laughs> they are openly <laughs> hostile. <laughs> well, let me warn you, paid hobos, <laughs> that your contempt this show is matched only by my own. <laughs> However, we're all stuck in this together, and as the great Winston Churchill once said, <laughs> I 
wasn't finished. He said, <laughs> which roughly translates to rabbit language is, you come over here and we'll <laughs> up. Now, the reason why I'm concerned about the studio audience is apparently there's a girl here who's wearing a striped sweater. <laughs> And there are rumours that she is the grumpiest, <laughs> most annoyed person. <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> at? <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you <laughs> let, Let's get this straight. We're taking the side of the grumpy girl in the stripy sweater over the cute <laughs> bunny. <laughs> <laughs> you people are <laughs> sick. <laughs> CBS cares. Is that what you do then? Whenever you see someone wake up, you burst into a <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> everyone. You join us in a very special evening. Tonight's show will be entirely cuss-free. <laughs> there will be no cussing whatsoever this evening. <laughs> It'll be like a <laughs> dream. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, Sid. You're thinking, isn't the word you just said a cuss word? And I'm like, what? You mean <laughs> Well, that's one of the meanings of the word. <laughs> but the other meaning of the word <laughs> is <laughs> Is not right, Jeff. That's correct, you <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Jeff, if you don't mind me saying so, you were a bit of a <laughs> to call me that. I apologize. Uh, by <laughs> I'm a I see. <laughs> well, you keep raising the stakes, so there's only one word left for me to call you. I'm sorry about this. I may be announcing my own resignation at the same time, but Jeff, you are a bad guy. <laughs> Just dub bad guy onto what I said. <laughs> it's gonna be a good show tonight. I think he's really I think he's really, really high. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? I'm stoned out of my mind. <laughs> Just follow the white rabbit. <laughs> follow the white rabbit. Follow the white <laughs> rabbit. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you weren't going to clap there for a minute, but I forced you into it. <laughs> I was like waiting for the usual uproarious welcome and all I got was some passive aggressive staring. <laughs> Hold on, I've just got to clear my throat. <clears> throat> <laughs> oh, that, that's better. Now, people often say to me, Oi, do you know if this place has valet parking? <laughs> and I say, no, I don't drive. And they're like, oh, you don't drive in LA? That must be difficult. I went, yeah, you, you haven't noticed I'm a <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> we tend to hop. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. A lot of people have been asked 
asking me to be saying, Sid, you're one of the uh, people on television that the kids look up to. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> up. <laughs> so people say, hey, what are you going to do for Halloween? I said, well, let's see, I could dress up as any number of things. But here's the thing, I'm already a <laughs> talking rabbit. <laughs> costume thing sort of covered, you know? I don't know, maybe I'll dress up as Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter. I do. I read the books, but I don't like the movies so much. Do you know why? Not enough ass. <laughs> which, is, which is a rabbit word for house elf. <laughs> People often get confused with that. They say, ooh, there's a lot of ass in that movie. I mean, oh, you mean there's house elves? <laughs> Look, they can't all be good, all right? Anyway, I've got my whole Halloween thing sorted out. Look. Yeah! right, laugh, why don't you? <laughs> can't you see I'm upset? <laughs> you probably can't because I don't have a very expressive face. <laughs> but let me assure you, I am upset. <laughs> <Aww>. Steady. <laughs> no, I am, I'm upset, I'll tell you why. People have been writing in to CBS to complain about me. I know! <laughs> Apparently, they think that I'm meant to be for children, and then they hear me talking, and they're like, well, that rabbit's not for children. <laughs> that, that rabbit uses language that children sh probably shouldn't be hearing. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and probably your children shouldn't be up at 12.30. your kids, ladies and gentlemen. How you do it is up to you. Within certain legal boundaries. <laughs> but I have to say that, you know, the warning that that this show might not be for children is because it's called the <laughs> Late Late Show. <laughs> to judge you, but if your children are up late, late, then maybe the problem is no television! <laughs> CBS cares. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks very much. Uh, you, you better stop now. It's starting to sound a little bit <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> I'm very excited because, of course, it is the night before Thanksgiving and it's a holiday which I, as an English rabbit, enjoy immensely. <laughs> because if there's one thing people do not eat at Thanksgiving, it's <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> so that's what I'm grateful for. Now, a lot of people say to me, they say, are you really a rabbit? And I'm like, well, what the f do you think I am then? <laughs> They're like, well, how come you can talk? And I'm like, ooh, magic Harry Potter, you f <laughs> I don't know. I just can. Anyway, here's the thing. I, I celebrate Thanksgiving now that, because I live in America, but I don't eat turkey because it seems a little weird to me. <laughs> Lettuce? We eat lettuce and, um, uh, that's about it, really. <laughs> carrots, we enjoy carrots. And uh, we also enjoy, um, 
You know, um, <laughs> custard. We like some custard. <laughs> I, uh, what else do I like? I tell you what, I, I have been eating. Look how fat I'm getting. Because <laughs> I've been eating a lot of lettuce and custard. <laughs> I do like to celebrate Thanksgiving by dressing up as a pilgrim. <laughs> that better not be a Oh, I heard up there. <laughs> no, I like to dress up as a pilgrim and I hop, I hop around. <laughs> and the reason I hop around is because I'm a rabbit. <laughs> Don't be stupid. <laughs> that's what rabbits do, we hop around. Anyway, um, so that's about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. It's really nice that you've given me such a warm round of applause and, and, and in no way did anyone try and get you to do that. It was a completely natural outpouring of genuine affection and in no way any kind of Hollywood phony That's right, I can see. I can see. I can see right through your manipulation. <laughs> Good evening, friends at home. Tonight is a very special Late Late Show. I realise that you don't know much about me, so I've got to tell you some things about me. <laughs> Number one, I'm an atheist. <laughs> and let me tell you this, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> The great things about being an atheist is you don't have to go to church. <laughs> and you get to hang around with lots of cool people who keep saying, oh, it's great to be an atheist. Yeah, we're so <laughs> clever. <laughs> yeah, anyone who's not an atheist is <laughs> stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing that I am, of course, is I'm a vegan. <laughs> well, of course I'm a vegan. I'm a so, with that knowledge, knowing that I am an atheist and a vegan, you probably have surmised that I spend a lot of my time in the Los Angeles district of Silver Lake. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, Sid. You're being... You're saying the opposite of what's true. This is some kind of sarcastic dig at hipsters. <laughs> well spotted, you <laughs> moron. This is the face I do when I don't know what to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. It seems that a CBS employee is in hospital with intestinal problems. <laughs> and I, as a late night television host, I'm tempted to do jokes about it. <laughs> but I mustn't. Now, Ch Charlie Sheen's in, in hospital, he's got stomach cramps. <laughs> So, this is the face I do when I don't know what to do. Crikey, I'll use a puppet. Hello, everyone. Hello. Whoa, what a day it's been. No CBS employees in trouble, I trust. For example, um, Andy Rooney. <laughs> He'd never get into trouble. <laughs> well, he might, actually. He's a cantankerous old bastard. <laughs> and then, what about David Caruso? He never gets into trouble. That we know of. <laughs> For example, he just says, there's been a murder in... Takes off his sunglasses and everybody goes, oh, here's your <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> I mean, 
Is it just me or is the standards for acting deeply slipping on television? For example, he's very, very ginger, right? He's a very red, gingery, pale-skinned man. It's not a secret. So where do they put him? Miami. Now look, I have to tell you that if he actually really was in Miami, he'd burn to a crisp. Oh, sorry, I forgot we're in America. He'd burn to a chip. Anyway, um, what the f*** do you know? You're watching a talking rabbit in the middle of the night. Which would imply to me that your cable doesn't work. A lot of people say to me, oh, a giant white rat! <laughs> and I say, and I say to them, yes. 